This sandwich bag costs more than three grand. This is the world's ugliest lawn. And this is no longer the world's oldest dog. And not just because it's no longer alive. We've got some of this week's strangest stories ready for you right now. But before we dig in, subscribe to us at The News Refresh on YouTube. We put out all sorts of weird and interesting news stories each and every day. Like a recent update on those supposed alien mummies they keep carting around South America. And this look at how inflation is affecting cosplayers. Thanks. So there's a good chance you recognize this guy in the bolo tie. He's musician, producer, and fashionable man Pharrell Williams. Known by many for a pleasant titled earworm and a giant hat that bore such a striking resemblance to the Arby's logo, Arby's went ahead and bought the thing on eBay for 44 grand. Last year, the high priest of huge headwear was hired by hothouse Louis Vuitton as its new men's creative director. And on Tuesday, his upcoming fall winter collection was shown off in Paris. It contained an array of Wild West inspired goods. But ahead of next season's Westworld twinged ensemble, there's another design for the current spring collection that's turning heads. Not necessarily on the runway or at the saloon, but in the lunch room. The place runway models surely wish they were instead. Behold the Louis Vuitton sandwich bag, designed by Pharrell as part of his debut collection. Rather than brown bagging it to your private jet with a PB&J stuffed into some destitutely recycled paper like a bunch of kids on a field trip, the house of Monsieur Vuitton, found in 1854 as they'll remind you on their bag, has released a luxury sandwich bag made from what it says is supple cowhide leather in the same color as their famed shopping bags. There's a zipped pocket on the inside perhaps to stash some raisins, as well as a double flapped pocket, silver color hardware, and of course, of course, a musket enclosure. Our luxurious Louis Vuitton lunchbox here has been on sale since January 4th exclusively at a West Hollywood pop-up location, and it costs more than $3,000. For the sake of comparison, at Walmart, some peanut butter, jelly, and a loaf of wheat bread with 22 slices costs $9.38, which works out to about 85 cents a sandwich. 100 great value brown bags costs about 2.3 cents per bag. So let's round up the three and call it 88 cents for a peanut butter and jelly sandwich in a brown bag. So for roughly the price of a single $3,000 sandwich bag that is not said to include food, you could get yourself more than 3,400 brown bagged peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Now I'm not necessarily drawing attention to this because the head of LVMH, the multinational holding company of luxury brands including Louis Vuitton, is Bernard Arnault, who's believed to be one of the top five richest people on earth, was just singled out in a new report from Oxfam, which found that the fortunes of the top five richest men have more than doubled since 2020, while five billion people, or well more than half our planet's human population, have been made poorer in that same period of time. No. I'm not necessarily highlighting this report's findings about massive income inequality faced by average people around the globe, and that the richest 1% own 43% of all global financial assets. I'm mostly pointing out that that's a lot of money for a sandwich bag that doesn't appear to include a sandwich. Hey, who do you think has the ugliest lawn around? The hoarder? The dad who's got better things to do? The person with the not-so-tasteful taste and decor? Nope. It's actually this woman. This is Kathleen from Tasmania, Australia, and she's the official winner of the World's Ugliest Lawn Contest. And yeah, there's a lot to be desired here. According to the contest's website, those divots in the ground were caused by three wild bandicoots, perhaps in a never-ending quest to score some wumpa fruit. And besides that, well, there's not much to look at. This patch of land here is pretty dry and bleak, and that's intentional because this contest is meant to draw attention to water scarcity. According to UNESCO, which is what the United Nations Educational, Scientific, and Cultural Organization stands for, two to three billion people across the planet experience water shortages at least one month a year. And the global urban population facing water scarcity is projected to double from 930 million people in 2016 to upwards of 1.7 billion people in 2050. Now, in spite of the wishes of your precious homeowners association, one way to cut back on water is to not water your lawn. And our contest here notes that their competition has an aim of saving water on a global scale by changing the norm for green lawns. This contest is put on by Gotland, Sweden, an island south of Stockholm that says it regularly experiences drought and water scarcity. And in a similar regional contest last summer, Locals who conserved water by not watering their lawns contributed to a 5% reduction in water consumption compared to the previous year. Now for this larger worldwide competition, 
Our contest here assembled what they said on Instagram is a panel of discerning experts hailing from diverse corners of the globe, from Ireland to the USA to Sweden to New Zealand to Australia. And our winner Kathleen ultimately triumphed over many hideous yet heroic contenders. And no matter the result, the contest said everyone who entered has a lot of ugliness to be proud of. To honor her big win, Kathleen was given a certificate and a recycled t-shirt. It's not clear if she hopes to hold the title next year, but in case she does, I don't know, she better start salting the earth or something. And then there's this. You're looking at Bobby, a 31 year old dog out of Portugal. Yes, 31 years old in human years, which earned him the Guinness title of the world's oldest living dog ever. That's so old, he blows this dog years conversion chart put up by the American Kennel Club out of the water. But Purina.com has a dog age calculator. Bobby the dog is said to have been born in May of 1992. And sadly, spoiler alert, died in October of 2023 after 31 years and 165 days of life, or 377 months, which also seemed to break this dog age calculator too. Look, if you wanna do the dog year math, let us know in the comments, because there's a good chance this is all a lie anyway. The Associated Press reports that Bobby's title as the world's oldest dog has been suspended after Guinness World Records claims some veterinarians called the dog's age into question. While our review is ongoing, we have decided to temporarily pause both the record titles for the oldest dog living and ever just until our findings are in place, the good people of Guinness told the AP. Bobby was a Hafeiro du Alentejo, a dog breed with a life expectancy of 10 to 14 years. The dog's owner didn't respond to the AP's requests for comments, and the dog itself hasn't responded to anyone for several months, as it's been dead since October. 